Lu, Lu, look his face. Yeah. He, he, he's, he's dangerous. He's special. We can, like, the guy is special. Yeah. Everything that could possibly yeah. be special yeah. about this guy is special. A guy like this is the type of guy that you love to watch and follow the most special guy that I've ever come across. Welcome back to the Pedro McCoy Sports Show presented by Head Rush. Today we have Ultimate Fighter winner, Mike Trezano. How are you, man? I'm doing great, man. How's everything with you? Pretty good. Okay, so let's go to before, obviously, you have a fight next week. Let's go to before that. What made you get into MMA? I, I liked fighting. Um, I just, I wanted to get into it. I always, I, I honestly didn't think about MMA right off the bat. I was thinking more like boxing. And then I got, I went into a gym, I went into Tiger Showman's and, um, the rest is history, man. I took one class, got my ass kicked, and I loved it. I wanted to go back. <laughs> and obviously, you've been at Tiger Showman your whole career. How has being at the same gym your whole career really helped you with your game? We have the. Well, I I honestly think we have one of the toughest rooms in in the world. You know, from the ground up, from the lower amateurs to. The pros, everybody's good. Everybody's a tough training session. Um, we get a lot of guys coming in with high level and jujitsu, kickboxing, striking, things like that. So, you know, there's always, there's always just high level people training all the time, and it just is a great way to to work on your skill set. And you obviously went on the Ultimate Fighter, and it was a unique season. Everyone was undefeated, and what was it like being in that room but not having your normal team around you? You had a, a completely different team. You had Stipe Miocic. Yeah, it it was weird, but you know, I I went in there just to try and learn as much as possible from uh, all the other people and get different outlooks on the fight game. And um, it was definitely uh, it took a little bit of getting used to, but you know, it was it was a good opportunity and experience for me to kind of just ignore everything else in life and just focus only on fighting for the six weeks I was on the show. It was actually, I, I enjoyed it a lot. It was tough. I'm not saying it was easy, but it was, it was a great experience. And what was it like being in the same room as Stipe and Daniel Cormier, you know, two of the greatest of all time? That was awesome. I, it was, it was, like I said, I, I, I used it as a, once in a lifetime opportunity, you know, to learn from guys that have been there and done it all and got to the top and were at, they were champs. And, uh, you know, it, it, it doesn't get better to learn from guys who, who are there doing it. They're at where you want to be. And it's good to hear insight from both of them. And they were both helpful. Even though I was on team steep, like DC gave me some good advice, good tips too. He was a really nice guy. You know, I appreciate everything. Now, obviously, um, Luis Pena, you know, he's been in the media a lot lately. He's had a rough time lately with his arrests. So um, you've obviously experienced being with him firsthand and you've fought with him. What do you think is going on with him and all this stuff? No idea, man. Uh, I hope he gets it straight uh, squared away. I hope he gets his uh, shit together and uh, can get back in there. But, you know, all the uh, – don't really – don't really know, honestly. You never really, you never really know what's going on. You know, you, you see all the stuff in the media and stuff, but you don't really see what's behind closed doors. So, you know, I don't really comment on on things like that. You know, they just he's just got to figure out his his way, and that's it. Um, and when when you got to the UFC, you know, you had a few good fights before your fight with Grant Dawson, and 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 then you came back and you fought. What is there pressure fighting in the UFC with the uh, status of being the ultimate fighter winner? Uh, there's only pressure if you put it on yourself. Um, I mean, I, I definitely have that, that in my resume, but mm -hmm. every time I go into fight, I'm just trying to be a better version of myself and, and work exactly what I was doing in training camp. And, and that's it, man, you know, wins a bonus. And I, I just go in there and just, it's, oh, I'm always trying to improve on myself. And if you add extra pressure, it makes it that much harder. There is no pressure. Not many people can do what we do. And uh, it's a very small percentage that can get in there and, uh, into a cage, get locked in and fight another guy. So 
you know, I, again, there's no pressure on me. I, I like going in there competing and pushing myself, and that's what I'm going to do every time. Now let's transition to your fight that's coming up. You're fighting a very tough opponent, Hakeem Duodu. What are your thoughts on him as an, as an opponent? Hey, he's a tough guy. Great striking. Um, I'm excited to get in there and, and strike with him and show that I'm a better striker and an overall mixed martial artist. You know, I could do everything. And I just I, I want to fight tough guys. I don't want to kind of just walk through it. You know, I want to mm -hmm. challenge myself. And this is this is a challenge. You know, he's he's a great fighter and uh, I'm excited to get in there. And how has your camp gone so far and how is your weight looking right now? Everything is perfect. Left no stone unturned, man. I'm ready to go. Uh, and how much more do you have to cut for fight week now? Eh, maybe yeah. like another 10 pounds. 10 pounds? I'm right, I'm right there, man. Yeah. And it, do you think it's a, is it a tough cut for you or is it just quick water cut and on the scales? Yeah, no. I mean, there every weight cut sucks, but it's not tough. You know, if you do it right and you, you – do everything you're supposed to do you'll be good you know so i, I don't cheat when i that's i'm a professional and our job is to make weight you gotta make weight that's it and where do you see you have the advantages in this fight and how do you think it will turn out for you i mean i think it's gonna be a great matchup um i think i have the advantage standing i think i definitely have the advantage on the grounds you know, I plan on mixing it up and uh, keeping them guessing. And hopefully, you know, all goes according to plan. You never know what's going to happen until you get in there. But, uh, yeah, that's my game plan. Pressure them, put it on them, and get in and out quick. <laughs> so you're aiming for a finish then? Always. We don't get paid by the minute. <laughs> now, um, I want – to get your so i do this thing on my show for the more casual viewer a quick fire like to help get to know you as a person and not just as a fighter so i'm gonna list off a few little things and i want to get your answer on them sounds good man fire away so what is your favorite movie gladiator gladiator and what is your favorite tv show if you have one that's tough but I'd have, probably have to say Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Uh, what is your favorite meal to have while you're in training camp? Obviously, you know, with diet restrictions and all that. Favorite meal? Uh, I don't know, honestly. They're all so, like, plain. and <laughs> But probably, honestly, I enjoy eating, like, nice piece of grilled chicken, rice, veg and vegetables, you know. I, you put a little bit of – Hot sauce on there makes everything taste good. <laughs> and when when you're not in camp and you know you can just eat whatever you want, is that the same? Do you like that no. the same way or no? What, what what's your uh, I want ideal meal? Nice big big uh, bowl of pasta, some sauce, meatballs, the works, man. I need my Sunday dinner. <laughs> Do you have a ritual for post-fight? You know, some fighters will have a drink of something or have some sort of celebration. Do you have a ritual like, like you do after you win? I don't really have a ritual, but I, I'll definitely crack open a cold one with my coaches for sure. Um, have you ever had a funny interaction with a fan? You know, like a funny run-in with a fan? Hmm. Yeah. Nothing like out of the ordinary, honestly. Kind of mm. boring, but hoping for a better answer. But I've never really had like a, a weird interaction with somebody, to be honest. And um, obviously, you meet a lot of people backstage in the UFC. You know the media team and all that. Do you have a favorite media member that you like to have question you? Or um, uh, for the most part, everybody's always treated me well and. We're very nice and professional, so I don't have any preference. Do you have – I don't know if you like ice cream, but do you have a favorite ice cream flavor? Yeah, I'd have to say Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster? Oh, yeah. I don't think you got that out here in Europe, so it's – it, just... It's almost like chocolate chip cookie dough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the ice cream's blue, and then they usually put, like, some Oreos in there too, and it's kind of like a – 
a mix of like Oreos, chocolate chip cookies, and it's blue, like the Cookie Monster from yeah, uh, yeah. So hmm, maybe when I go out to the states in July, I'll I'll grab myself some. You have to. <laughs> and um, now let's go back to the fight. If you win this fight, is there an opponent in mind? Maybe get into the rankings, or maybe there is a specific name maybe outside the rankings you would like to face off with. Uh, I don't got anybody specific, but I definitely, after I win on next Saturday, I want to fight somebody in the top 15 for sure. So get me a ranked opponent. It doesn't matter. I I don't really have anybody in mind as of now. And do you have, uh, how many times do you want to fight this year? You know, activity is really important in the UFC. Do you want to fight multiple times this year? Because it's early in the year. Yeah, I definitely want to try and get three, four, God willing, you know. Yeah, obviously. I, it's been t- a tough road you know i was supposed to fight in october that got scratched and now i got this fight but uh you know I, i'm always trying to aim for three four we'll see what happens so what's your goal by the end of the year being the top 10 top 15 what's your what's your goal i'm saying top 15 that's my goal and roughly so if you win this fight obviously hakeem duodo he's a big name he's a very talk highly talked about prospect do you think that will help bolster you into a fight for, in the rankings? Absolutely. Absolutely. Especially, I'm going to make a statement next Saturday. That's for sure. All right, man. That's all I have uh, prepared. Um, if you want to shout anything out, say anything to the viewers and the MMA fans, then here's your. Get ready. It's going to be some fireworks next Saturday. Don't miss it. <laughs>